prove who killed the president. It wasn't like that. But as someone who was neither single bullet theory nor conspiracy theorist to begin with, and just being exposed to what I'd seen, I don't know, it just seems kind of difficult to me how one person could have done that. I don't know. I mean, I'm, again, maybe I'm wrong. I'm entitled to be, but I'm entitled to the opinion. My thing is I don't mean to force it on anybody. You go, and that's why I joined the agency, you know, I said, everything's supposed to be in the National Archives. You make your own informed choice. You're intelligent people. You don't need somebody else telling you what to think. Yes? Yeah. Oh, so I, I, you have a comment. That, what's the question? Coin tell pro. Yeah. Is this assassination a part of that program? Well, uh, well, my understanding would be no, because the Coin tell pro program. If you look on some, there's a there was a program called Coin tell pro, which was actually my understanding, because I was taught a class at Delta that was was a four prong program, uh, and that was actually where uh, Jay Hoover, yeah. uh, remember FBI direct, director who. Now know it was wiretapping members of Congress and right. everybody. All he said, he wiretapped on the king and all that kind of stuff. And so, um, um, it, one of the, it looked at groups that some questioned as being anti government. Some of those groups were white supremacists, and they actually did send undercover white supremacists, what they call black nationalists, right? Whether they were doing good or harm. The thought was they're all harmful, you know, according to the court, tell her. I forgot what the third group was. I think it was, uh, com I think it was communists. I might be wrong with that one. Uh, but the last one was student groups. And so, COINTELPRO, according if you agree with what they put out there, are purported to be declassified documents, uh, details uh, people being sent in to college campuses to find out what's going on on college campuses for fear that there's some kind of you know, insurgent movements and so forth, trying to be sub subversive to the um, to national security. Um, connection to that program to the assassination of the president, I, I, you know, I don't see that, but I know that was a different program. Uh, my understanding was that that program ended some time ago. Yeah. Um, you had all that <clears throat> unrestricted access. Were you able to see photos of the autopsy in the back of the president? Yes. Can you talk about that? Well, the, the photos are actually the uh, property of the Kennedy family. Um, and the Zapruder film was two, but that's actually went through a, I think it was finally bought for like $32 million or something. That was after he left. Yeah. Um, but because um, we went through a big authentication thing that I was only partially involved in, other co workers were more heavily involved in that process with in terms of authentication issues. Um, but in terms of the, pho the photos and or the, the photos of record is the way I prefer to refer to them. Uh, and of course the x-rays. Um, you know, it's, it's, there, there's been lots of disagreement about what they purport to show. And one of the things I think that I can talk about is, um, you know, I'm an investigator. So I'm, I, I'm not like the best investigator, but I, I like to say I have some, some common sense. And certain things I tend to look for if I'm looking to get an understanding about something. I need perspective. You know, it's just like, uh, I forgot, it was a science fiction show I saw many years ago where they developed some technology to go off to another planet. It's it make believe. And it would take pictures, and it came back and all excited and they said, oh, well, we have no idea whether it's that small or as big as Jupiter because there's no scale of reference. Somebody messed up. I don't remember seeing a lot of scale, you know, different things like rulers and things, a lot of different photos to give me perspective of different things. And there's some other allegations about uh, the autopsy room and so forth. Um, you know, and, 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 and what I will say though on, on the autopsy thing, this is I don't want to, this ties into something different. There was um, what one just to show you that that you really have to keep an open mind. Um, and, you, and everybody deserves to tell their story, right? Uh, I, had, I had someone approach me and tell me the story about um, their uh, brother. They said, they said their brother was at Bethesda and was an orderly at Bethesda and was African American and said that at that time period, a lot of folks that I'll just say look like 
like me, a lot of people did not give them a lot of credence as knowing much. Therefore, they would presume that they're sort of, quote unquote, invisible, and basically do things, say things, thinking that there's no recourse from those actions. Well, um, the story was that um, this orderly and another one uh, were there, and that allegedly someone was brought in before the autopsy doctors did something hurriedly, and it left the room right away with an escort before they came in. And you know, there's actually a book in which that story has also been documented as well. Um, doesn't mean it's factual, but it's one of the stories that's out there. You know, but you have to kind of fit these things into your mind and see what makes sense and what doesn't make sense. Again, you have to make your own informed choice. I hope I answered your question. Yes, sir. Yes. Try it. Yeah, thank you very much. I understand two, uh, 2017, there is going to be new uh, information, evidence um, regarding the JFK assassination to be released by the government. Um, are you aware of this material and are, have you already been exposed to it? Well, like I said, we, we, have, we have full access to everything that's been classified. Um, and so, you know, I can't talk about what's classified. What I can talk about is that my understanding is not that general understanding that you actually mentioned. My understanding is that every it's cyclical, like it's public policy, every certain period of time, things can come up for review. So a decision can be made whether to release or not. So my understanding is that it's not everything's automatically released, that it comes up for review in a certain period of time. Maybe I'm wrong. That's my understanding. Last question, I know I'm out of time, right? Yes. Yeah, I, I asked a question yesterday to the Dealey Museum, and they told me that it was not 95 to 98 percent of the files that were released, and that the remaining files would be released in 2017. And he went further and said that it was most likely uh, people that were being protected in the last bit of it. You saw Stephen Fagan? Yeah. Is that who was? Yeah, I, I did it more.